You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Breaking Bad has a movie coming to Netflix. Trinity and Neo prepare to plug back into the Matrix, and Spider Man is no longer in the MCU. This is ETN, and you're watching the weekly entertainment wrap up. Before we get into all the news from the last week, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share this video across all social media platforms to help support the channel. Breaking Bad is one of the most popular shows to ever hit the small screen, and now it's moving to Netflix with a movie releasing this October 11th. There have been teases in the past from both Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul of something Breaking Bad related on the horizon. Netflix has been able to keep things under wraps for a while until the New York Times reported the movie and even actor Aaron Paul expressed his displeasure in a tweet stating, Wait, I thought there was only mescal on the horizon. I'm so confused. Oh wait, got it. I understand now. It's about patience. I guess there is a movie happening after all. Didn't realize I could talk about it. I guess I can. Thanks, New York Times, for blowing up this secret. Another tweeter replied, That sounded really passive-aggressive, lol. And actor Aaron Paul replied to the tweet, Yeah, no kidding, my friend. I have literally been the only person on this planet to not talk about this damn thing, and now here we are. Vince absolutely crushed this thing on the page and on film. Thrilled for the world to finally see this piece of cinema history. Hashtag Pinkman, hashtag bitch. Are you looking forward to the upcoming Breaking Bad movie? Now get ready to reload into the Matrix. Earlier this week it was announced that an official Matrix 4 movie has been announced and further confirmed that Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss would be reprising their roles as Trinity and Neo respectively. Details on the story have not been revealed yet, but you can check out the theories here on the ETN where we discuss some possibilities where the story might go. However, this week's biggest stories revolve around Disney and Marvel. Much to the disappointment of fans, it was reported by Deadline in the middle of the week last week that Spider-Man would not return to the MCU. This unfortunate news preceded the D23 Expo. Sony and Disney had a falling out when it was initially reported that Disney wanted a new deal that would have them share the revenue with Sony of the movies 50-50. Later, it was confirmed that Disney actually wanted 30%, but Sony declined the pitch, eventually ending the agreement. It is still believed that a deal may be worked out at some point in the near future, but as of right now, there will only be one more movie including Spider-Man in the MCU, after which the character returns exclusively to Sony. While the news was unfortunate, D23 gave fans a lot of other things to look forward to. Disney and Marvel announced three more Disney Plus shows, which were She-Hulk, Moon Knight, and Miss Marvel. A trailer for The Mandalorian was shown at the expo, as well as footage of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, in which Rey appeared wearing a dark robe and wielding a red double-bladed lightsaber. Also announced was The World According to Jeff Goldblum, a show for Disney Plus which is the actor taking viewers on a tour of things from his perspective. The Eternals were on display as the actors stood in front of their movie counterpart pictures. Black Panther 2 finally got an official release date of May 6, 2022. The Lady and the Tramp live action adaptation released the trailer. And there were many more announcements at D23 Expo and you can find them on the D23 Expo website. Finally, to end this video, it was announced on Sunday that Bill and Ted 3 finished shooting and it's being reported by Screen Rant that a new Joker trailer might be dropping by this Wednesday. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to the channel and remember to share this video with others on social media platforms as it helps the channel grow. Don't forget to like this video and tune in next week for ETN's weekly entertainment wrap up.